Good morning, traders. Welcome to Privateer FX, uh, Friday, March 23rd edition. Got the Asian preview, the North American wrap. <clears throat> well, our our sniff yesterday about you know selling equity rallies, selling risk rallies, uh, turned out to be pretty pretty good, I have to say. Here's the Nasdaq chart. After yesterday's reversal lower day, we went pretty much straight down. We're now getting into some levels here, though, where the shorts might might take something back. 66.90 is a fibo, half fibo of this whole move from the February low. We also have this low here at 66.50, we'll call it, and then the 100-day moving average is down here at 66.7, 66.15, looks like today. Um, so there might be some profit taking because it's pretty much pretty much a straight line down. Uh, if we look at the S and P mini, that chart looks similar. We can draw this fibo. We're now below the hundred day, so we cracked that today and went straight down. We go back to where this stopped in February, which is a two hundred day. We've almost retraced two thirds of the move. So, you know, Nasdaq relative is is still acting a bit stronger. Um, and, and remember that it did make a new high um, for that whole move uh, on the correction. So 26.36 is a level of the low so far has been about 41. And we're trading 26.45-ish right now. Um, so equities still, uh, you know, generally we, do, we, we, we should see a lower low on Friday today than what we saw during the New York session. Um, the Nikkei, I would say, we need to keep a close eye on that. Uh, let me get the Nikkei future, because the Nikkei future is just under this 2100 uh, area, which uh, right here was this low, was 20, uh, this low here, so just, just around 2100. Now this is the CME future, so um, you can see, bottom line is that we've got these wicks that... Uh, and decent bounces anytime we've been anytime we've had a significant sell-off so we'll watch and see what the actions like on the uh, during the Asian session because that could be interesting let's go over to uh, the currencies and obviously cross yen has come under some pressure uh, here's a dollar yen daily chart this is important this level here is extremely important the lowest daily close that we've seen for this move down this year has been 105.75. We got a new low daily close today, closed right on the lows, right as Asia's opening. There was some barrier protection here, supposedly at 105.25, and then more um, at 105 the figure. We actually have to go to the weekly to, to kind of give you guys an idea of you know where we're at. You know, we've broken this trend line, and it looks to me like we're trying to retrace this bigger fib swing uh, which is you know multi-year back in uh, 2016 lows and that would get us down to uh, somewhere on the one of low 103s um, it's difficult you know dollar yen selling dollar yen on the 105 handle has not been a profitable trade for anyone um, is this time different we will soon see here's a uh, here's an Aussie yen big Aussie yen we Closing below this 8130, just below uh, this Fibo here. So, you know, all of cross yen um, looks pretty ugly. Let's go back to I'll show you the daily so you can really see. But, you know, here's a CAD yen. Uh, Euro yen took out yesterday's low, went straight down, closing the lows. We've got this early March low of, and the, the year's low for that matter, down at. Uh, 36 so we're not too far from there so yen you know seem seem seems to be acting a bit like a safe haven the vix today was up uh 30 percent had a huge move um i guess we could run the fibs here from that from that big spike up in early feb down to the lows you know it hasn't it hasn't really been back below this 13 14 level so this has got some room to run this old high here at 26 and 2750, 31 would be a half retracement of that. So VIX definitely looks like it has, has more topside. Uh, equities lower. 
cross yen kind of coming into play. Uh, metals were under some pressure today, so the if you take a look at like the Australian dollar, that had a, that had a tough go. Um, failed up here around the uh, around the uh, around the hundred day, and then uh, you know pretty powerful move down. So if you start taking out these lows, you know we've got a few bottoms here on the daily. That's got that's got some more room too. So. Market's certainly in uh, risk-off mode. Everyone's blaming it on the tariffs, on a Trump talking tough. Uh, one one kind of sneaky little trade that might that might work that and it is fairly inexpensive is because uh, volatility is so low in dollar China. As you can see, it's just been sideways for ages. China could let their currency weaken. We do have a bullish engulfing here today. Um, small highs but you know probably if it starts getting above 630 638 630 680 these highs that could easily run up to this 100 day moving average um, 645 this would be a, a way to retaliate against Trump and the US tariffs and uh, by letting their currency weaken um, so <clears throat> Keep an eye on that on that currency because that that can lead some of the other dollars. If you start seeing dollar China rally, then that puts pressure on the euro for because of some recycling that goes on. Um, you know, it has a lot of implications, and uh, you know, that, that it's certainly not good for equities because uh, a weaker CNH is generally uh, uh, a sign of you know risk off in other markets. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, good luck in the last day of trading here, and you'll hear from us on the European Open. Hopefully get some action this morning for you guys. All right, have a good weekend, and you'll hear next from me on, uh, on Sunday before, uh, before the Asian Open. All the best.